Brian Wilson, Mary Catherine Hamm, today's newsmakers, and you, the morning majority. 6.30. It is 8.37. You're with the morning majority. You know, with Hurricane Irene moving into our area possibly this weekend, we thought it'd be a good idea. We wanted to know, is it going to be a non-event? Is it going to be a rain event? Is it going to be something that will be the end of the world as we know it? Who better to talk to? Then our next guest, she's a bona fide meteorological rock star. She is a, a genuinely nice person. You know her, you love her, you can't live without her. The one, the only, from your Fox 5, we are joined by my good friend, Sue Palka. Hey, Sue. Brian, that was such a nice intro. Thank you so much. Well, I wanted you to feel welcome here oh, on the airwaves so of 630 WMAL. He also wants to do the voiceover work for Channel 5. That's right. So. Oh. I, I can do that, We'd actually. like to get him back. Yeah, talk to Phil about that for me, would you? I will hey, do that. Hello to all of you. How are you doing today? Doing, doing very well. Well, well, the question we have here, you know, we've been having sort of this discussion about, you know, this. it sort of looks like it's right on the bubble where this it could either be a thing or not be a thing. Right. What do you think? I'm starting to worry it's going to be a thing. Ooh. Uh, and here's, here's why. You know, for the, all week long we watch these models of the atmosphere, and uh, part of uh, why there's, there's great confidence is because they really perform. But as we are getting closer and closer, um, we, all week long, guys, we saw a trend where the models were starting to edge it just to, you know, a little bit more out to sea, a little bit more out to sea. Mm -hmm. That trend kind of halted yesterday, and the last couple of runs now are trying to suggest a, a track somewhat closer to the coast. Well, there you go. So there's a little trend to the west, and uh, those kinds of wobbles have a big uh, difference in what we're going to see around here. That could be a difference of 25 to 50 miles, and with this huge hurricane, which has hurricane-force winds out 70 miles, tropical storm-force winds out 250, then, you know, it kind of gets us into an envelope. But right now I would say... I don't expect it to do what Isabel did, which has been coming up a lot in emails and calls and concerns over at Fox 5. Right. Isabel did a totally different path up through central Virginia and, you know, caused widespread power outages. But this thing is kind of close enough now that uh, I'd be a, a little more worried if I was in uh, New York City and up in New England. I mean, it looks we know it's probably going to graze the outer banks. Our big question is how close does it get to our coast? Certainly close enough, I think, uh, everyone to pound the beaches and and get us in on that western side of it where we could saturday night into sunday morning have some pretty gusty winds maybe some big outer bands of rain uh enough to you know maybe cause a couple of trees to come down when's the last time we didn't see that happen yeah. and uh, uh then it's out of here probably uh winding down on sunday just left with some gusty winds and maybe some rain in the morning but i'm kind of worried about uh, what i'm seeing on this new track which would be anywhere from New York City to Cape Cod, uh, they may be getting a second landfall up there, and that would be really bad. That would cause big problems for New York and Boston and on up uh, the coast. But isn't it true, Sue, and I, I mean, I'm not a meteorological person. I just play one on TV occasionally. But, but, but I'm wondering, as you go further north, doesn't the water cool, and doesn't that sap the strength out of these yes, hurricanes? It, and it would get weaker. And I think uh, what you're going to find here is a lot of changes in intensity. Like to, right now it's a Category 3. Uh, it's been going through an eyewall uh, replacement cycle overnight, so it actually got a little bit weaker. But uh, as soon as that's done, we think it'll get strong again. And the problem, Brian, is this thing is so huge that once it gets to a certain intensity, it's, it's going to be slower to wind down than a smaller hurricane would. Uh, but it is still forecast to be a Category 1 uh, as it gets closer to New York City, mm -hmm. um, maybe even a, you know, a stronger uh, Category 1 or a weak Category 2. And that would be uh, sometime on Sunday. So Are, it would weaken, no doubt about it. But the wind field is still so big, I think it could have a really big footprint, especially for uh, you know New England area and New York. You were talking about Isabel, and obviously it, you did take a different track, and it was uh, you know through Central Virginia and Richmond got killed as much as we did, if not worse. Oh yeah. But but to that, I, I believe it was that was a tropical storm at the point when it hit us. So that was only like sixty mile per hour wind. So if it's still a hurricane, if it's off the coast, and you're saying that they've got tropical force winds two hundred fifty miles away. We're right, still going to get but, pounded with wind, aren't we? It has the, the strongest part of the uh, hurricane or any tropical storm, though, is in the northern and eastern side. So we would be on the weaker side of that. But okay. even so, we could still get some pretty good gusts of wind in here uh, or certainly, like, let's say, to the west side of the bay. So, you know, a couple days out, it's really hard to get super specific. But I have a feeling by, you know, later tomorrow, uh, we're going to be able to nail this down because for us, it'll be Saturday night into Sunday when we see the worst effects and, and then maybe get, you know, a better handle on where that 
that big wind field will be. But, you know, at the coast, uh, 50 to 70, maybe stronger mm. uh, along the Delmarva beaches uh, for quite a while. So I definitely think they're going to get, uh, you know, a lot of wind damage and uh, a coastal erosion, a storm surge, a couple of feet, maybe four feet. Uh, but uh, that could be a bigger deal uh, for New York City and uh, Boston. So if we're talking about it going up the East Coast into the Northeast, they're not used to hurricanes, uh, but if this is a big storm, at what point are we talking having to deal with strange evacuation processes and that kind of stuff in large cities? Yeah, they, you know, they try to hold off on that, Mary Catherine, yeah. as long as they can. Uh, they're going to, I think they've uh, already started evacuating some of the North Carolina Outer Banks and right. they put the hurricane watches up today. I think you won't see that for uh, uh, another um, 24 hours, 36 hours. Uh, if New York City would be impacted Sunday. I think you'd see something the day before if they were going to evacuate certain areas. Can you imagine trying to evacuate the island of Manhattan? Oh, my well, gosh. You know, I hope they don't have to do that. There's eight yeah. million Me people too. there. <laughs> eight million people have to be evacuated. That's a lot of people. That's always been a huge concern for uh, the National Hurricane Center is, uh, and as everybody else is how do you move this number of people like Ocean City how would we get everybody off the you know the barrier islands in time but I think people are paying attention to this one and there's been a lot of buzz about it and you know kind of helped by social media people are really plugged in and uh, you know they're, they're not just waiting for their TV weather forecast anymore <laughs> they're getting updated constantly so I'm, I'm hoping that the word is out on this one, and there'll be plenty of time for people to act and react. All right, the cone of death, as I like to call it. <laughs> when, when will we when will we see the the cone of death around here? I mean, what we just said Saturday nights into Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah. I, I think the worst effects on the on the current timing for us would be uh, later in the day on Saturday. And you know, you get these um, rain bands that come around these tropical systems, and right. sometimes inside of them, it, it can rain like crazy, and you could grab a couple inches of rain in no time. And uh, you know, you get the big wind gusts in that, but uh, it uh, very much will depend on where that final track is coming up the coast. As of yesterday, it looked like the center of it would be about 75 miles roughly off the coast if you were to go exactly with the National Hurricane Center track. Right. Uh, but because they wobble so much, uh, you know, it wouldn't take much for it to wobble 25 miles and be closer. And then that would bring stronger wind gusts right to the bay or, you know, maybe even into the, uh, the, the, the metro area. So that's, I think, why there's a little bit of... Um, a little bit of concern that right. maybe, just maybe, it's tracking a bit closer to the coast today. So you've been with Channel 5 since 1985. Yes. I'm, I mean, I think you were there just shortly before I joined there for And you a know while. what, yeah. Brian? I came in with a hurricane similar to this yeah. one. I was supposed to be training at Fox 5, and instead I got <laughs> thrown into the mix to work on Hurricane Gloria, which Ooh. is what oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I, I must say that uh, uh, you see people on TV, you wonder, are they really like what you see? Sue Palka is genuinely one of the nicest people that I, I know Aww. on the planet. And it's so good that you are with us today, Sue. We appreciate you are it. so sweet, Brian. I remember uh, you and I both being the rookies over at uh, Fox 5. <laughs> I getting hazed a little bit as we came up into yeah. the big leagues, right? Yeah, that's right. Did he kiss up as much then as he does now? No. <laughs> no, I, I was not a kiss up. And she'll, she'll verify that for you. He, he's got, he, he is a guy that tells it like it is. Uh, <laughs> a huge favorite of all of us uh, at Fox 5. And uh, we uh, are so glad you're still. Still around. Kicking around. Yeah, yeah we still, we're still All right, Sue. So it was great to have you on. Thanks very much. Oh, I hope it was of help. It was no, great I, to chat with you great guys. Help. And uh, keep up the great work on the morning majority. Love it. All Thank right. you very much. We'll be watching Sue Palka, Channel 5, here with the